Well, hey there, hobby homesteaders. Welcome back to Peace Peak. My name's Lucas. We're sharing our hobbies here on 38 acres in Eastern Kentucky. And today we're talking tractors. I've had a Kubota BX23S for almost five years and I've put 708 hours on it. And it's time for me to get a new tractor. So unless you're new to the channel, it's no secret, I've been shopping for another tractor. If you've followed my channel for any length of time, you know I'm an enormous cheerleader of the Kubota BX line of tractors. This subcompact tractor has been invaluable to establishing my homestead and building the infrastructure and the trails and putting in water lines and drainage. And I have lots of videos talking about all of the great things that we've accomplished with this little lawnmower. I have defended my little tractor for the five years that I've owned it because lots of people want to tease and make fun and say, why would you want such a small tractor and all of that? And I have videos that talk about why I love this tractor so much, and I do, but I have outgrown it, and it's time to move on to something bigger. And I just kind of want to share why. Now I'm going to get straight to the biggest reason why I have to get a bigger tractor. And that is because we have a sawmill and we can mill logs up to 32 inches in diameter and 16 foot long. So we just got through placing a log on our mill that was 13 foot long. It was a yellow poplar log and the big end was 21 inches in diameter. The small end was 16 inches in diameter. By the log weight calculator that I found online, that's about an 1100 pound log. The Kubota BX is rated to lift 340 kilograms with this loader. Now, that 340 kilograms would include the weight of these pallet forks. So you're losing a couple hundred pounds right off the bat. So you're talking about a 700 pound lift capacity minus 200 pounds. You can lift a 500 pound log typically with the Kubota BX. Almost every log that we have placed on the mill weighs more than 500 pounds. And you guys have seen me in action and I've gotten creative in order to continue to get by and get some logs on the mill. Well, today, I think that's probably the biggest log we've put on the mill. We didn't use the front forks to lift it. What we did was we used a skid steer quick attach conversion. We placed the forks on the rear of the tractor and we got it we got those forks under it and pushed it over here where we needed it. And then when I got ready to lift it, I took the cant hook that's five foot long and slid under that plate on the three point. And I lifted with the cant hook while I, the Kubota assisted with its hydraulics. And we were able to raise it up enough that we could back it up onto the mill and roll the log off. Not only is that very dangerous, very strenuous, but it's also very hard on my awesome little machine here. In fact, I have bent something again so that when my three point is all the way at, uh, in, in the bottom lowered position, it pushes the lever for the PTO engagement forward just enough that it comes off the safety switch so it shuts the tractor off if I get off the seat. So I've got to figure out what I've bent and fix that. And that's becoming a recurring theme because I'm pushing it beyond its limits. We have had to have the diff lock repaired, likely because I use it to get more pull and more traction. For instance, we were skidding that log up here and we had to come up our uh, 20 plus percent grade hill, dragging that 1100 pound log behind here. And so to get enough traction, I ran the diff lock all the way up the hill. Just eking out every ounce of capability I can get. Now, people have loved it because they see what you could actually accomplish with this little machine and they're pretty amazed by that. And I am too, but it's not fair to the machine. It's not fair to my wallet and it's not smart to continue to work that way. So we are going to step up to a tractor that can pick up bigger logs. Now in the 700 hours that I have owned this Kubota BX, I have, well, I, I've mowed my lawn with it pretty much every week throughout mowing season in Kentucky, which is quite a few hours of mowing. 
and it does a fantastic job but i've also even used it to mow some of my fields and trails and some really tough terrain and it's done everything i've asked of it i have used the backhoe to dig water lines to build an apartment and water lines to replace the main water line in my house i dug a main water line for cameron's place um, we we have dug for electric lines for the shop and the barn we use an auger to drill post holes to make all of the buildings that we've made i've accomplished so much with this kubota bx that honestly even though i'm getting a bigger tractor the Kubota stays. I love the little machine and I get so much good out of it, even if I'm just keeping it for the backhoe. At this point, I've had it around long enough that it's really close to being paid for and uh, it has already paid for itself over and over and over in all of these projects that it's allowed us to do. So I guess the point of today's video more than anything is to share with those of you who are here because of the Kubota BX that I'm not hating on the BX. I'm not disappointed with this tractor. I am not done with this tractor. I just have, my hobbies have just grown to the point where it's not fair to continue putting this tractor through the things that I'm putting it through. So we're going to try to find something else that better fits the things that we're trying to accomplish here. Plan on keeping the Kubota around. I'll use it to mow my yard and then I'll use it when I have drainage issues or I need to dig a ditch or, uh, you know, all those kind of projects are still going to be done with the Kubota because it can get in those tight spaces. It can do all those things that I have touted for so long. So guys, in 708 hours of operation, this Kubota has accomplished more than I would have ever dreamed. I'm thankful that I have it and it was the right purchase. I would buy it over and over again a thousand times. I had a conversation the other day with, uh, with Tony on Tony's Tractor Adventure Live, and they were talking about how important it is to buy once, cry once. Always go a little bit bigger than you think you need and all of those things. And that's, that's good advice if financially you can afford to do those things. But I will also say that there's something to be said for a machine that does so many things so well. And that's what this has accomplished for me. So I am, I am thrilled that I made the purchase of the Kubota BX23S. And if I didn't own one, I would go buy another one because I love it. But I've got to have a bigger tractor. So that's where we're headed. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Until next time, get outside and enjoy God's creation because it's beautiful out here. Y'all have a good day.